This is Rocky Hall and I'm at the uh, marina campsite uh, getting ready to take a shower and I found some of my hometown people right here from Hoopa. Woot woot! I'm going to take a close-up of your shirt there. Hoopa Valley High School. These guys are from my neck of the woods. I saw their California plates and I said I had to introduce myself. So uh, just introduce yourself, who you are, why you're here, what you're doing. Um, my name is Christiante Joseph and I come from the Hoopa Valley tribe, Northern California and I'm the daughter of Tom and Patty Joseph and the reason why I'm here is because um, it's just a beautiful thing to have indigenous people coming together for fighting for the same thing because we all have the same issues with water. Um, we all have the same fight no matter where we are in the world and it's stronger when our family and friends come together and I call this home even though I'm from California and I'm way over here in North Dakota this is home because it's nothing but love around and that's why I'm here is because I'm only 16 years old and um, my father and mother met in the fish wars and so I was raised to stand up for what I know and what I believe in and so that's why I'm here is to bring this story home of bringing United Nations together and I believe my friend Joe once said I believe we've already won you know just because we're all together just because we're all here and we're all strong and it's a beautiful thing and what I'm taking home is this story. What I'm taking home is all the love and blessings and the songs and the prayers that I've got to experience hands on here. And I'm gonna take that home to my people and share it with them because even though they're not here, that's what we're here for is to represent them. Yeah. And it's just a big thing, you know. I'm gonna go to school and tell my school everything what's gonna go on. And, I'm actually going to be missing school and I'm happy about that because I'm going to learn a lot more here than I will in the books. You and talk to the elders here and you will learn mm -hmm. so much. They will exactly. give you so much good history uh, because you guys are from my area. Is there any issues going on in the Hoopa Reservation that you would would you like to speak about? Well actually there's a, um, they're trying to put a pipe under our Klamath River or Klamath and Trinity River, and that's what we're fighting. The same exact thing here is because it's going to go against the water. It's going to, you know, water is life, and that's what our cultural goes upon. You know, we're water people, and we believe the rivers and creeks are the bloodline of our people. Are they talking about a pipeline? A pipeline, exactly. Under the Klamath? Mm hmm Oh, wow. Um, AB, what's it called? KBR, like that. Yeah, that's what they're trying to put under there. And also logging, you know, um, when we went there, they don't know what they're logging on, they're just trying to make the money, you know, and um, I believe money is power, but so are people, and so that's the kind of power I look for, and that's the issue at home is logging. What they do is they throw all that stuff into the creeks, and it washes into the river, and it kills our fish, and I mean, I'm sure you guys heard of the fish kill in 2000. And I did. You want, to you want to touch on that? Because I know about it. It's, um... In year 2000, Nicole probably knew more because I was just born that year. Oh, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> still, I know a lot that a lot of fish were killed and a lot of people were hurt because of how the river was so low and, you know, they got sick. And you would walk down the riverbanks and see hundreds and hundreds of fish and salmon just washed up dead, you know, and it's sad. Hundreds and hundreds. Hundreds. I mean, hundreds. Like, you know, and it's sad because. We learn about that here in our home, and I just hope one day that my children will have to witness that. Even though I didn't have to witness it, I still hear about it, you know, and it's that story. It affects you still to this day. Yeah. Sixteen years later, it affects you. Having to worry you. about it is yeah. what hurts, you yeah. know, and um, we shouldn't have to fight for what's ours, but... It's, it's just greed and corruption. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to say to the American people? To the American people out there, I want to say... You know, you need to watch what comes out. You need to know what you're doing before. You need to quit being blindsided by the government and think and speak for yourself. And um, stand up. Stand up. And I know people aren't the same, and I know people are all different and everything. I'm not trying to tell you who to be. I'm not trying to tell you, you know. But this is just who I am and where I come from. And I want you to take a step back and look at the real picture. And I want you to 
realize what else is going on because there's much beyond this world that you see on TV. You should step out there and look beyond and find out what's real for yourself. Yeah. And I want to say here's a 16-year-old young lady that has come all the way from Northern California, and that was about 20-something uh, hours driving, a couple days maybe. It took us three days to get here. Three days. Took me three days to get here. Uh, so 16 years old, she's come all this way, and she's standing here. And if she can do this, you can do this too. Absolutely. And you want to introduce me here, and I'll uh, get your story as well, and you can probably tell us about the fish kill as well. Uh, my name is Nicole McGinnis. I'm 41 years old and I'm here uh, for my children. I have five. This is my youngest, Nixon. He's three. And he already uh, stands up and says he's proud to be in North Dakota. Do you want to say you're proud to be in North Dakota, baby? Yeah. No, it's that told is pride. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's all about is the kids. And, and they're going to have a fight one day. Yeah. You know, they're going to have to fight for their rights and... Uh, my oldest, I'm here with her also, she's 18, her name's Taya, and I have one on the way, Jojo, he's coming, and I left two in uh, California, and Cuba, Dakota, and Nimue, but we're here, I'm here with my husband, and we need to take a stand because... This is what we're fighting for right here, the children, the children and the great-grandchildren. Yeah. And the way media is covering this is, it's scary, because you know that money buys silence. And this should be loud and proud and dignified, but they're making us look like we're savages, we're evil, we're going to hurt you. When they brought dogs, they brought people to hurt. The were ones. you guys there that day that they brought the dogs? No. We're I was away. there. Yeah, I was there. But we heard about it and we've seen the videos and I'm surprised that more CNN or... Fox News isn't covering this because it's it's endangering lives. It's endangering children. A pregnant woman was bitten. I mean, when does it stop? You know, we, we continue to be hurt, tortured, and to have our land taken from Intimidated. us with nothing in return, but for people to keep telling us it was in the past. Well, now it's the present. It's not in the past. People need to start opening their eyes and realizing and stop trying to tell us that we're not learning in school that it's yeah. okay to be and slaves. people don't people don't remember history right i mean if you just go back a couple of years this thing has been going on for a long time mm -hmm. yeah. and it's all been brushed under the carpet i mean even that they know now that that wasn't the truth they still teach it to our children right my ch my child learns that columbus was great that he discovered <laughs> us and he discovered this because we were lost right, right? We, we came over from asia you know it mm -hmm. it's funny that Nobody wants to hear the real truth because it hurts. Mm -hmm. and, but everybody wants to tell us to go home. Yeah, we are home. Right, we yeah. are home. This My is green home. bag is in line. I am in line. Sorry. Right. Thank you. I need a shower. <laughs> um, did you go through the roadblock when you got here? Did you guys go through the roadblock? Tell me how you felt going through the militarized zone up there. We knew it was coming, but to see it and to see that um, they had tasers on their chest. Mm -hmm. it, it was it was a little concerning, especially to see other people go through easily. Why? But for us to get stopped and questioned and to look at and then... Thank you. That has been that happening. Feeling, yeah, that feeling. Mm -hmm. the children shouldn't just like you had to tell him, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a good person. He was scared of me. Right. You know, and that's not from us saying to be scared. You know, it's just that that's a fear. That's the PTSD that our children are born with because of the generational trauma. Yes. And uh, we're healing. Yeah. We're in that camp and all the prayers. We are actually healing. We're coming together as one. And it's not just indigenous people. It's people of all over the world that are coming together. Yeah, we have people from all over the world at the camp. Mm -hmm. You're seeing that. Yeah. All over. All over the country, all over right. the world. They're showing up at Sacred Stone Camp here right. in North Dakota. And you, you put things, like even on the reservation, you have uh, tribal meetings. There's always going to be people that don't agree with other people, and it's, it gets tough. But in this camp, mm -hmm. it seems like it's so serene. It's so, yeah. you just feel comfortable. Yep. Even yeah. with all these strangers, you feel comfortable. Right. Yeah, you do. It gets a little stressful from the weather. We're not used to it, but, but it's, we get through it, you know, together we get through it. Yeah, yeah. And winter's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, anything you want to say to the American people? Um, come here. Join us.
everyone. Let's have a day. Come and fight for Let's what you believe in day. because it doesn't Let's just affect us. It affects what everyone. With that? no clean water, what else do you have? Mm. You won't have trees, then no. you won't have oxygen. Nope. And killing the bees, killing the water. By death, and that's what yeah. cancer is killing everyone. Mm -hmm. And that you want to drink oil, you might as well just take some oil and drink it right now. Yeah. Instead Please. of watch your generations die. Yeah. I yeah. Awesome. I want to thank both of you guys and uh, I'm going to give a big shout out for Hoopa, California, <laughs> the Hoopa tribe here. I'm all proud. <laughs> thank you guys for coming and thank you for just talking to me. I appreciate it. Rocky out. <laughs>